Unless you live somewhere on the Ring of Fire along the Pacific Rim, you have probably never seen a volcano come to life. Volcanoes are ruptures in the Earth's crust, the outermost layer of our planet. But it's the layer below where the magic, or should we say the magma, happens. A deadly combination of hot gases, molten lava, and rock fragments ready to push through the vents and fissures of the Earth. Now, let's catch some real footage of some of the craziest lava eruptions in recent history. The Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia is one of the most concentrated areas of volcanic activity in the world. And just April last year, the Shivaluch, one of the 29 active volcanoes in the area, sent ash plumes going 12 miles into the sky. At its peak, this cloud of ash spread across a whopping 108,000 square kilometers, smothering the nearby villages in drifts of gray volcanic dust as deep as 8.5 centimeters, while forcing the government to shut down schools and offices. Now, here's another one. On December 2021, an underwater volcano in the Tongan Islands in the southern Pacific suddenly came to life. But it wasn't until four weeks later that the eruption of Hunga Tonga reached its fiery climax. Part of a highly active volcanic arc that spans from New Zealand to Fiji, the eruption triggered a series of four underwater thrusts displacing about 10 cubic kilometers of rock, ash, and sediment. It generated tsunami waves across the globe, from the US to the Russian Far East. In fact, according to NASA, the eruption was a hundred times more powerful than the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima, and the largest explosion ever recorded by a modern instrument. Now in December 2021, the Mount Sumeru, the highest volcano in Indonesia erupted, killing more than 50 people but displacing thousands. Locals were urged to keep at least 8 kilometers away as hot avalanches of lava poured out, leading to mass evacuations of 2,000 people in the country's famous island of Java. The eruption was triggered by heavy rain that led the collapse of the lava dome at the summit, giving rise to fast-moving currents of hot air, dust and debris traveling down the slope and damaging at least 5,000 homes. One of more than 100 active volcanoes in Indonesia at 3,676 meters high, Mount Samuru is the highest volcano in this island state. Last up, we have the Fuego Volcano in Guatemala. Located along the Ring of Fire, a horseshoe-shaped string of volcanoes and tectonic plates around the Pacific, stretching from the southern tip of South America all the way to New Zealand, the Fuego is one of the most active volcanoes in South America. On the 3rd of June 2018, a five-mile stream of hot lava and a dense plume of black smoke suddenly blanketed over the country's capital, killing over 200 people and leaving 700 people in shelters. Remember, the speed of this moving ash cloud can reach up to 700 kilometers per hour, making them impossible to outrun. Temperatures inside can range anywhere between 200 degrees Celsius and 700 degrees Celsius, igniting fires and destroying everything in their path. So there you have it, some of the wildest volcano explosions in recent history. Remember, the mantle which makes up about 84% of the Earth's total volume is extremely hot and for the most part stays in solid form. We know the temperature in the mantle can range from 1000 degrees Celsius to 3000 degrees Celsius, hot enough to turn solid rock into a thick, flowy substance called magma. And because magma is lighter than the surrounding rock, it 
floats up to the surface, seeking out cracks in the mantle. It stores in large pools of liquid rock called magma chambers. When this magma becomes less dense than the rock around it, it drives the magma upwards. If the pressure is high enough, or a crack opens up in the crust, the magma spews out of the ground. If you enjoyed exploring these amazing violent forces of nature with us, make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out on more.